Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I'm talking about Supergirl season number four, episode number four, Ahimsa. And this episode is directed by um Armin um Kamvorkin. And here we have um Kara inside of this suit because she has she needs the suit to put because the um it's, kryt it's kryptonite in the atmosphere. She can't breathe it in, she can't be around it, or she, or she will die. So she so she's inside this suit and she's kind of freaking out a little bit because she because she's because it kind of reminds her of being, being back in that pod and she's feeling she's feeling trapped, a little little claustrophobic, and she's she's going, she's panicking. But through the help of her sister, Alex, she manages to calm down. And so you got Alex pretty much telling her, you need to um, take a take take a knee for now, take a step stay on the sidelines, and let your body recover until we find a way that we can get rid of the kryptonite in the atmosphere, then you can come back. But you got Carol, who is the hero and pretty much the star of the show. She's pretty much saying, no, nope, no. I'm the hero here. The show is called Supergirl. So I have to do something. And you got, and you got um, Alex, I mean, Alex saying, no, I'm in charge here. I run this ship. And you got to sit down on your butt and follow orders. Because if you do something stupid, like you get yourself killed, that's my responsibility, and then I'm gonna get in trouble by people who are in charge of me, and that's all me. That's only my my fault. So you see them struggling with that here too. You also got John, who's feeling all messed up because, well, he's feeling guilty that he he wasn't there for Supergirl when, when she when she asked for his help. He felt as though he should have fought alongside of her, and maybe if he was there, she probably wouldn't have got hurt in the first place. But. Uh, Maybe, maybe not. Who, who knows? You don't know for sure. So, he, so you got you got Alex feeling guilty, but for, for, for things she did, you got John feeling guilty for the things he didn't do. So it's just like, oh. And, and and it makes it even worse. You got a lot of people on on, on Alex's team who are jumping ship and uh, joining the bad guys, like, which is messed up under her watch. It's even worse. Yeah. And she got the president of the United States on her, pretty much telling her, "You better step in line. If you don't step in line, well." I'm going to make things happen for you. And that's not a good thing either. <sighs> then you have what's going on with the, um with James and he's and he's seeing what's going on. He's seeing his friend Supergirl's hurt and he got it's, everything that's happening and he feels as though he's the guardian. He has to step up. He has to do something. And then you have Nia who pretty much said, who, who probably, probably had a dream or something like that or a vision. And she pretty much told him, hey, I don't think you should do this. I don't think you should be the guardian. I know you want to. I know you want to. And I know I was all for the, you stepping up and doing stuff. But I think you should step back this time. Because I, I, it's not going to end well for you. I don't think it's going to be good. And he says, it's okay. I'm the hero. And the hero knows that it's going to be dangerous out there. And the hero knows that it might be getting in trouble. But he does it anyway. That's what I do. I'm James Olsen. I'm the guardian. So you've seen that happen there too. And then while John also dealing with all his anger issues and stuff like that too, he runs into Manchester Black, who is the um, I think the, uh, the, uh, the husband of Fiona, who's been who's been missing, who we thought who I thought was dead this whole time. Turns out nope, she's still alive. She's barely alive, but she's still alive. Now they they kind of change that Manchester Black a, a whole lot because he's actually white in the comic books and he has powers. He's telepathic. So that's going here too. So I like whatever. So, but he, but the thing is though, he's very, he seems a very, very, very like likable character. You actually do like him on the show, and so and he also likes his team up. That I also like the team up he had with um John Jones. I like the chemistry they have between one another. He kind of like um help John in a way, kind of focus and stop being too angry a little bit too. So that was great. And then you also you still had the whole thing with um. Um, Ben Lockwood, Agent Liberty, still doing his thing, trying to make um, make the world unsafe for by proving that aliens are the danger by endangering human lives. Oh, that's so messed up. Yeah. Overall, I did enjoy this episode. Um, introduction of Manchester Black was great. I, I did enjoy him as a character. Um, there was there were certain things I did, I thought was kind of no well, didn't really help out at all. Now you have um the whole thing going on with um with James Olsen and him becoming the Guardian. Now, I ended up biting him in the butt at the end, so it's like not near you know, told was going to happen. But here's the thing. Him showing up didn't really do anything. It didn't really need him. I mean, he had one little moment. He tripped some guys. He punched the guy in the face, the aliens in the face. Yeah, I guess. But if he wasn't there, the same results would have happened. They didn't need him. I mean, because you had, you had, you had um, Brainiac and Lena working together, which was also a great team up, to fixing the, the atmosphere. 
And you had Supergirl actually fighting the bad guys, and, and with, with Alex and the rest of the team fighting bad guys too. They didn't really need him. I mean, him showing up did not fix or change anything. So why he feel the need he had to do anything? I don't know. But whatever. But either way, other than other than that little thing, I, I did enjoy this episode. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode, uh, Supergirl. And if you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. And I think that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, mm, boop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it like I always say in my dreams and in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.